All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. Today is not the day for me to slide down the natural water slider over, over at Ohio Pile State Park. It is time for TTM Wednesday, so let's get right to it. The first one is from Steve Rosenberg, who was pretty much just an up-and-down guy. 88 through 91 was his, was his career, played for the White Sox for three seasons and the Padres for one. 1989, he started 21 games. That's all his career starts. Had one career at bat. Uh, 142 innings pinched in 1989, where he went 4-13. and 13. And that's pretty much all she wrote for the rest of his career. He only appeared in 16 games after that 1989 season. So that is Mr. Steve Rosenberg. He returned in eight days. Next return is the voice of the San Diego Padres on the commentating side, Mr. Mark Grant. He played for six teams. Majority of his career was with the Padres and the Giants. Spent four years with the Padres, three years with the Giants. Uh, Rockies, Braves, Mariners, and Astros all one season or less. With the uh, Giants and Padres in 1987, he went 7-9 with a 4.24 ERA. Started 25 games, saw action in 33, 163 innings at a third inning pitched. Had an 8-2 mark with the Padres in 1989. Never saw the playoffs. But like I said, he is now the commentator on for Padres TV. Mr. Mark Grant returned pretty quick as well. He returned in eight days. Next TTM return comes from a legend. He could bunt with the best of them. He was probably one of the best leadoff hitters throughout the 80s and into the 90s. My cat George is getting a lot of love right now. He wants to know what's going on. <laughs> He is pretty interested in me talking into my computer right now. So, say hi to George, everybody. <laughs> uh, Mr. Brett Butler was a bunter. He could, he had speed. He could lay out triples, as you can see. He led the majors in triples in 1983 and 1986. He stole 558 bases, stole 51 and 52. Bases in 1984 and 1990. It was only a one-time All-Star, believe it or not, back in 1991. Got some MVP votes between 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, and 1994. Never finished as high as 7th back in 1991 when he played in 161 games, scored 112 runs, had 182 hits, walked. He walked 108 times. Amazing. It does take a while to get uh, Brett Butler back, so if you have sent to him, be prepared to wait. That's all I can say. Uh, the 110 days is pretty accurate, uh, give or take maybe a day or two. Uh, I do know that I sent right around the same time that Brendan Stebbins uh, sent out his to Brett Butler. Uh, I remember he said something, and then I was like, oh, I just sent out to Brett Butler too. So, and we both got him around the same time as well. Uh, next one back is from Hall of Famer Harold Baines. Uh, he's been returning nonstop over the last month or two. Uh, I don't want to repeat much what everybody else said. Obviously, whether you agree with his Hall of Fame induction or not, it doesn't matter. He's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, man could play some baseball. Uh, Twenty, Almost 2,900 career hits. What, because he was 140 shy of of making it into the uh, Hall of Fame. He doesn't deserve to be in it. And I don't necessarily agree with that, just like I don't necessarily agree with Fred McGriff not being in the Hall of Fame either because he hasn't hit the magical 500 mark. Um, he is free, but he will charge. If you, send, um, uh, if you send him one, it's free. If you send him two, I would throw in a couple extra bucks. I do know Eddie uh, got one signed, and the other one wasn't signed. So if you send two... Send cash. That's my one bit of advice for Mr. Harold Baines. Next one 
So Michael Myers get this guy back a month ago. I don't know. I can't remember when exactly he got this back. But he's a Heisman Trophy winner. And I want to talk more about his prodigious numbers that he put up at the University of Houston. Not necessarily his number with the Lions. He was an amazing college quarterback. He won the Heisman Trophy in 1989 through 46 touchdown passes in 1989. 15 interceptions through for almost 4,700 yards. In 1988, threw for 2,500 yards, 25 touchdown passes, and 8 interceptions. An amazing feat. Uh, I saw that he was inducted in the College Football Hall of Fame in 04. So, unless I saw that wrong, I'm pretty sure I met him. I just don't know where else I got his autograph, so I don't know where it would be because College Football Hall of Fame in 04 was in South Bend, and I would have been there. I wouldn't have turned down a chance to <laughs> to, uh, to to miss Andre Ware's uh, autograph. Um, he doesn't take very long to, to return, but the amazing thing is he threw over 500 yards against, I know, it was a JV SMU team. Well, probably not even JV. A JV high school football team could have beat SMU in 1989. They were so, so bad coming off that scandal. Uh, so, Mr. Andre Ware, uh, he actually signed three for me, but I only scanned in two. I think that uh, playoff card looks really, really sharp with an autograph, so I wanted to feature that one. And then the Flare Ultra looks pretty good, too. Had him sign a scored uh, rookie card for me, uh, but just didn't scan that one. All right. Next one uh, comes from Mr. Mercury Morris. I have a little tie-in with Mercury Morris. Um, I did my post-grad internship at his alma mater at West Texas A&M. Well, back in uh, his day, it was West Texas State. Uh, they had, uh, the athletic department had photos of all uh, famous alumni. Um, I'm going to link a story to a bunch of famous football alumni. They, a lot of them didn't go on to play professional football. Believe it or not, a lot of them went, got in the squared circle and became a wrestler. It, uh, the long list of football alum at West Texas A&M who became Hall of Fame wrestlers, amazing. I'll put that story in the description. You guys can check it out if you'd like. Mercury Morris, Super Bowl winner. I, and he actually even wrote me a note back. He, uh, I told him that I did my post-grad internship at West Texas A&M. I uh, really liked Canyon and all that, you know, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And just told him that uh, Kimbrough, uh, which is the former stadium where they used to play football at West Texas, that was, uh, that was an interesting place. And he wrote me back and said, Kimbrough was a great home venue. So uh, that was great that he uh, responded back to me. Uh, he was free, but I have heard that he does charge a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but he did sign for me for free, but it did take a little bit of time to come back. So that is Mercury Morris, and my last one comes from my nephew, Mr. Keith Kerr the Third. He signed this Pokemon card for me. He saw that I had a bunch of autographed baseball cards, so he wanted to get in on this and uh, sign a Pokemon card for me. Uh, really cool of him as he's going home this week, and he just thought I would like an autograph card from him. So that's what I have back this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.